Hello and welcome to the video lecture uh, associated with concurrency control in the distributed database management system environment. Um, so again, uh, we need transparency. Uh, so the concurrency has to be transparent to the users and the applications. Um, this is the design goal for the distributed database. Uh, you know, the, the, the environment uh, dictates or mandates that we are going to have transactions being carried out by multiple users. Uh, we covered the two-phase commit in a previous uh, video lecture. Um, and so, uh, when we have multiple users accessing the database, it has to behave as though it is a locally, um, uh, a local uh, centralized database. So even though simultaneous trans uh, transactions are occurring, uh, it must appear as though those transactions are happening in a serial fashion. Um, and a lot of this is, is handled by time stamping. Uh, so, uh, as a concurrency control mechanism, time stamping uh, assigns a globally unique time stamp to each transaction. Uh, it's an alternative to locks. Obviously, placing a locks in the distributed database environment would be uh, onerous and uh, resource intensive, um, but uh, what can happen is if you assign a globally unique timestamp uh, using timestamping uh, information such as uh, a, a, a timestamp should be uh, globally uh, independent. So for instance, uh, right now this specific time uh, in this um, time zone uh, is different than any other time in any other time zone. Uh, so when I say that this transaction is happening now and I stamp it with this time zone's timestamp, um, then the distributed database management system knows the timing of when this transaction was initiated and can therefore make it appear as though the, um, the transaction is happening in a serial fashion. Um, and that is the end of my video lecture on concurrency control in a distributed database management system.